Welcome to Esna Communications Video User Guides. My name is Michael and I will be showing you how to hold, transfer or park a call in Esna Connect. Esna Connect enables you to easily put a caller on hold while you find the information they are looking for or determine where to transfer the call. Let's say Simon gives you a call and has some questions that you are not able to answer. You can put Simon on hold while you talk to your colleagues and try to find some answers. During this time, Simon will listen to some pleasant on-hold music selected by your organization. While this call is on hold, you can easily give, for example, Julia a call to see if maybe she has some useful information to share. When you finish your call with Julia, you can simply pick up the call with Simon again. In Esna Connect, you can also pass any incoming call to one of your colleagues. For example, you can transfer your call with Simon to Lawrence, who knows the most about the topic in question. To pass Simon's call to Lawrence, click transfer in the call window and a transfer window will pop up. In the first drop down menu, select the user or phone number. In the next box, type Lawrence's number or extension to easily look him up in the directory. You can also type an external phone number, such as a colleague's cell phone, to transfer the call externally. Now you have a choice to transfer the call blind, supervised, or send it to voicemail. To quickly transfer a caller to your colleague without providing them with any explanation or context, select a blind transfer. Your colleague's phone will ring and they will have no knowledge of the conversation you have with the caller before transferring. The caller will have to explain again what they are calling. There may be instances when providing your colleagues or supervisors with an explanation before transferring a call to them can be quite important. To give Lawrence a heads up and explain why Simon needs his assistance, select a supervised transfer. When selecting a supervised transfer, Simon will be placed on hold and you will have to, the opportunity to provide Lawrence with a bit of context regarding the call you are transferring to him. When you are ready to transfer the original caller, click the end call button and select your next step. You can complete the transfer to let Simon and Lawrence talk. You can return to your call to Simon and explain why Lawrence is unable to take his call at this time. Or you can simply hang up. There may also be instances when you need to merge two separate conversations into a single conference. In SNet Connect, you can easily do that by adding a caller to another ongoing conversation. Let's say I am in the middle of a conversation with Jill, and while I am talking to her, Simon gives me a call to talk about the same topic. To combine the two calls, I will add Simon to my existing conversation with Jill, and the three of us can continue the discussion together. To do that, I click Transfer, select my other call, and choose my conversation with Jill in the second drop-down menu. I click Transfer to start an impromptu three-way call. Once all three of us are in one call, I can manage the membership of my newly created conference by clicking on the three dot menu next to each of the participants names. To leave the conversation and let Jill and Simon continue talking, I can simply click hang up. SNET Connect also provides additional transfer features for organizations for larger customer service teams and contact centers. If your organization has customer service or departmental queues configured, you can pass a call to specific queue. Simply click transfer, select transfer call to a queue and find the queue of your choice in the second drop down menu. To learn more, watch our video user guide series on call center editions of SNET Connect. Additionally, you can transfer an active call to your other devices. For instance, if you are in the middle of the call, on your desk phone, but need to continue it from your mobile phone, simply select to transfer the call to all my phones. All your devices registered with your company phone system will ring simultaneously, enabling you to pick up from the device that is most convenient in the moment. Another feature with the SNET Connect application is the ability to call park. Call parking puts a caller on hold, so any colleague with your, within your company can pick up the conversation and assist them. This is useful if you are not sure who to transfer the call to or need to track down the appropriate person to take the call. Once you click the park button in the lower right corner of the call window, it is assigned an extension. This number is announced to you with a voice notification and a pop-up message in the upper right hand corner of your screen. The call window will automatically close and you can pass along the extension to the call to the appropriate colleague.
To pick up a call parked by you or any other of your colleagues, click the call parking icon in the blue quick access menu. If you don't see call parking in one of the six icons displayed, click the three aligned dots on the right end to open the flyout menu of additional options. Then select call parking. To learn how to make call parking available in the quick access menu, watch our video customizing the SNET Connect interface. Once the park calls window is open, you will be able to see a full list of the calls available for pickup within your organization. As you can see, the call I parked a few seconds ago is right here and any of my colleagues will be able to pick it up by clicking on the phone icon. If no one picks up the conversation within 45 seconds, the call will be transferred back to the person who is parked it. The length of this wait time depends on the unique configurations of your company's phone system and is fully customizable to meet your organization's needs. This video is a brief overview of call transferring and parking functionalities available in SNET Connect. Watch the rest of the series to learn more about the application and take full advantage of the features available to you. If you have difficulties using SNET Connect or bump into technical issues, contact your internal IT department or reach out to SNET Technical Support. We will be happy to help you.